Manila. I'm an Irish visual artist and I'm currently exhibiting in Around the Table here at Number 20 Arts. And I work mainly through sculpture, ceramics and installation. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about this work in front of me here which is called Delicate Delights. And for this particular show we were looking at themes around the domestic which of course so many of us have been confined to this year. And so I actually started making this piece during the first lockdown when I was stuck at home and didn't have access to my studio. And I still had the urge to make, but um, I was lacking a lot of my clay tools and general material. So I started substituting um, domestic utensils, particularly col culinary utensils, to um, create these ceramic cakes. And it really struck me in that process how similar ceramics and cooking are. Um, clay, when it's in a raw state, is similar to dough and they both have to heat up in this hot oven in a sense. Um, and in this particular work I was looking a lot at ideas around desire and excess and kind of the um, instability of human wants and our insatiable tendencies and carnal pleasures. So the pieces are mainly made from porcelain which um, has kind of its own histories and I was also looking into the Dutch still life Vanitas paintings while I was creating this, which often present food to talk about mortality, and food will often decay in these paintings. Um, and this is usually done as a symbol to talk about kind of mortality and the futility of the pleasure. And so most of the cakes kind of contain a fusion of these bodily elements and um, one of them is even leaning over slightly it's, <laughs> as if to, it's about to sort of topple over under its own decadence um, and I was quite interested in sort of the essential relationship between body and food. And um, so these two works are called Pillow Talk and I created them by moulding clay over a pillowcase to create these and sagging torsos and then cast the whole piece in plaster and um, then I coated the surface of the plaster with flock which is basically a powdered cotton because I wanted them to have this um, slightly sort of soft tactile appearance um, and in this work I was kind of looking at how women have been presented throughout art history as kind of drapes and folds on the hill because I wanted them to reference the kind of um, classical sculptures that we all know that have these drapes and folds in, um, in their structures. Um, and it almost looks as though these dwarves and sources are sort of being stifled or struggling from the thing. Um, and I wanted it to kind of fuse these two very conflicting materials um, of a pillowcase that has associations of intimacy and comfort and warmth with um, more of a colder, harsher material like concrete to talk about um, the issues that surround the difficulties of intimacy. And so this piece is called Sweet Temptation and I made it by gently sifting sugar over handmade stencils so each pattern on this lace carpet and um, was made with an um, individual stencil and um, and I really wanted one ephemeral piece in the exhibition I think there's something nice about the transient nature of it and that it can only be appreciated in this current moment in time and will ultimately be swept away at the end and I felt that this kind of notion also talks about our own mortality um, and again that relationship between food and the body um, because both are either going to be kind of consumed or spoiled um, and I wanted to create this fusion of sugar and lace because um, they both have quite intricate and difficult histories attached to them um, and were once these sort of 
materials that represented splendor and status, but they've been over time mass produced for our own consumption. Um, and there is kind of this um, labor intensive endlessness to the work that I wanted to capture in the piece.